Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I have a different type of project for you guys. I am working on this French Door Studio um, rabbit. Uh, my friend Bobby um, hooked me up with the kit and I had shared it with you guys and I made stuff yesterday and I totally said I was going to do a video so you guys could see how I put it together. She came out with a new um, design and it's the blue Easter bunny. And I shared this little reel on TikTok, not TikTok, oh, I put it on TikTok, I think, but on Instagram. And I created these vintage um, car looking carrots out of a Uncrustable box. <laughs> Um, just for the sturdiness. You could make them out of paper. But the reason why I did it was because... Um, let me move this out of the way. Bobby shared her designs with me to see what I could whip up. And in it comes quite a few um, designs. You get a... I already cut this one up, unfortunately. Um, you get this... A, one of the pages is an 8 by 11 sheet where... This is supposed to be a design for a cake uh, cake oh my god a plate cover and you could put like a clear plate over it and so you would have this design sticking up but I don't have clear plates um I have white plates and I don't do um table setting that often I do for Halloween and Christmas but never really for Easter but what I decided to do was take some of the elements and create something different and it comes with two of this design here like one down here and one here and so I decided to make them little ornaments. So this one, I took two of them apart. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I cut the inside of the shape and layered it on top. So it's like double layered. And on this one, I just cut out the egg itself shape and backed it with some crepe, gold crepe paper. And this is just like the regular stuff you find at the Dollar Tree store. But then I took the second one and I cut out the rabbit and layered it up on top. So you've got a little bit of dimension. I don't know if you guys can see that. And so that's what I did. But one of the designs is green and one of the designs is blue. And so the green design faces that way and then the blue design faces this way. So I decided to make one an ornament. Now I have these big circles. I think they're four inch circles. Let me see. I have my ruler here. I think they're about four four or five inch they're five inch five inch circles that I happened to stumble upon a shop called Burrowwood I believe um on TikTok and they sold a pack I think of like 25 for like they get they had it on sale for either 10 or 15 bucks and so I just bought it thinking oh I'm gonna make some ornaments and I never did because that's yeah but I decided to use it for this one. And so what I did was I cut the round um, shape or I glued it down in the center and then just kind of cut around it. And then I used some sandpaper and just filed it down. And then I took gold paint or kind of like a bronze gold paint and just did that all the way around. And then I made these felt bow bows because I was clearing out some of my felt. And I just love the way the color matched up. And so it worked out really perfect. And so that's what I did with that. Um, the carrots themselves actually are a bit of work. And I might do a video on how I made them because I took watercolor paper and I just used the Distress ink um, from Tim Holtz, the Oxide inks, and just kind of did a, like a inking around, playing around with ink, and then cut out the shape and the shapes are actually from um, Bobby's one of Bobby's old designs which I want to say she might have it available in her blog and so she has this um, template and so what I've done is I've outlined it and then use a trans uh, not transparent like a, a transfer sheet like a a very thin one that's see-through and so I can you know outline it and then use it on my paper and then cut out the shape and then I ran my paper through some music um embossing folder to kind of add the um like while well, the embossing there uh but when I went to pull the paper out it was tearing so I decided to back it onto real music sheet and use the uncrustables and then these are the um what is it? Capsella leaves from um, Erica's designs. 
And I just love the idea of using them as like the leaves for the carrots. And then these are her stamps. She has a set of Easter um, and tag set. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my throat is like a hot mess. And then I added some, um, oh my goodness, um, this ribbon. It's the, um, there's a name for it and it's escaping my mind. But if I remember, I want to say seam binding, but it's not seam binding. Oh my goodness, my brain. Anyways, I have some like kind of dull colors and so I decided to use the blue. And then I used one of the smaller designs and just added crepe paper. And adding the crepe paper, I usually like cut a strip in half and then I use my um, sh uh, picking shears to create that shape. And then I just kind of fold like that all, like how you do the ruffles but I just go all the way around and I'm adding a little bit of glue as I glue it down but what I wanted to share was this large egg that I found at the Dollar Tree and I covered it up with one of the designs um, actually it's two papers it's this design here and then she has other colors which I don't know I think I shared them with you guys I have right here like she has it to make it's supposed to go round and you're making a Easter hat with rabbit ears but I decided to take it and cover this egg up and so I printed out another um, image to match this side and then just ran it and glued it down here and then what I'm gonna do is she has a design that she uses a pizza dish um, pan and I didn't have I didn't know it was a pizza dish and so I just happened to be at the Dollar Tree and like the idea of an egg. And so I grabbed the egg and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this down here and I already tore it. But what's cool is that I can cover it with the rabbit and the rabbit is part of the design. And so I'm gonna layer it there and then I'm going to um, cut up this welcome sign. But I'm also going to add some coffee um, filters as little flowers so you guys can watch the process video. So stay tuned. I just layered the rabbit up on some cardboard and then I'm doing the coffee filters here. Um, I put it behind the rabbit and around. Then the bow, super easy fold. Then the welcome sign. Then I add the bow back and we're done. Okay friends, so this is the finished product. It is my display for my Easter like centerpiece, uh, my mantle. And I'll be removing the um, coffee wreath that I have there now. But I just love the way this turned out. I um, will add all the links to the um, designs of Bobby's Etsy shop as well as her blog spot. So if you guys want to try this out. I did pick up the egg at the Dollar Tree. And the rest is part of the kit. I think she still has it available for purchase, but I'm not 100% sure. But I just love the way it looks. It is so cool. I did add some chalk to the nose to make it pink. And I also added some more like a orangey color of chalk for the cheek to make it kind of look a little bit more um, colored. I don't know if you can tell, but... Just love the way it turned out and the bow the way i did it i just learned off of pinterest and um that's where i picked it up years ago and so when you see me twist it that's just a different style she did um bobby does just a regular bow but i wanted to do double loops and then the carrots do come part of the design and i just um, distressed them and added some foam um, green foam leaves that i had from this um, little bushel and then I added some colored twine and then spring um, does come as part of one of her digital pages. So I, oops, sorry. So I did um, cut it up and put a little toothpick on it and glued it there. So that's all I did in the coffee. So cute. I just, oh, I love it. So I will be sharing a video of my, um, how I display it. Um, with the Christmas, not Christmas tree, but Easter tree that I did. So thank you guys for watching and um, come back for some more fun videos soon. Bye.